Thanks for joining us on TV City News at 7. We're staying with developments in Niger State, where Governor Maru Bago has given an order to stop the mass purchase of food items from local markets in the state. The governor gave this order while speaking to newsmen in reaction to the protest that sparked outrage in Mena. The state capital, Chinami Bamae, reports. Early Monday morning by 7 a.m., while people were getting ready for work, women gathered at the Pakungu roundabout leading to the Federal University of Technology to protest the rise in food prices in the markets. The protest was later hijacked by youth in the community, and this snowballed into a breakdown of run order. The situation was, however, brought under control by the police. About five hours later, the governor of Niger State, Umorubago, addressed the press on the situation. He says, according to security reports, the women were incited to cause a blockade on the road in order to intercept and loot trucks carrying food items. This is how we got to understand that the people who went as town criers to tell them there are food coming to town, the trucks are coming, let them come and block the roads. We are able to succeed in gathering women who had gone to fetch water to take care of their daily needs. Very early in the morning, as early as 6 o'clock, you know. But uh, some good Samaritans informed the security agencies and those trucks were stopped before the university gate in uh, Mongoro. And after a while, they were diverted through the Talba farm and they left, even without the people knowing that the trucks had already left to Abuja or Abuja Road. Despite increased agricultural activities, prices of food are on the rise in the state. The governor attributed this to activities of speculators that aggregate grains and cause artificiality. On the issue of speculation and mobile food, We've noticed this trend across the country that uh, due to the inflationary trends and also the loss of uh, value in Naira, and people have decided to stockpile uh, food items, you know, in speculation and uh, in a lot of warehouses. As it were, some of the warehouses in the market and they belong to blue chip companies where have deployed uh, security forces to make sure they are safeguarded. In the market, the story is still the same as retailers complain about the rising cost buying from wholesalers. I bought beans, two thousand, one thousand three hundred. Today I price beans is one thousand five hundred, and I sell at one thousand three fifty. There are many one I have the duty that will sell it, and the one that I will buy today, how do you think I will sell it? It will be costly. The price that these people buy from the farmers is high that we that sell in retail cannot afford. If the big buyers are willing to pay 100,000 Naira, how will the farmer pay attention to you that has 70,000 Naira? The executive order banning large purchases of food items might cause food shortages in other parts of the country that source food from Niger State. Chenemi Bami, TV News, Mina. I'm joined now by Commissioner for Information and Strategy in Niger State, Bint Maman. Uh, thank you for joining us on TV City News at 7. Help us understand the relationship between um, banning purchase of food in large, uh, on a large scale and the protest that happened earlier today within the state. Yes, thank you so very much for having me on the show. Um, like you hardly rightly heard from his agency where he said he has ordered what is stopped of selling of um, buying of food stuff in uh, scale is one of the problems that is causing this food scarcity. Because um, these food items that we are talking about, we all know the situation in the country. And this situation is not only peculiar tonight alone. The high of um, uh, cost of um, food items is cut across uh, the country. But well, there's one very particular thing that you need to understand about Niger State. We grow um, young beans, rice, but unfortunately, um, again, these food items are bought from people outside Niger, and um, some of them are even Niger like They buy them in large quantity and store them and wait for a time to come where they will sell it at a higher price. And that is the reason why we have this. Um, a uh, very high cost of uh, 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 food stock. Yes, it's quite alarming and it's so worrisome. We see uh, uh, rice that we grow. We grow rice across the 25 local government uh, uh, in Niger State. 
and um, you 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 go to the market and they tell you a mudu of rice is two thousand naira. I mean, it's quite alarming, and 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 that is not a, a good um, a welcoming idea for 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 the people that are the ones growing this food items. So and how again, soon how soon um, does the state government foresee that this ban will significantly impact on the prices of food as know it in Niger? As long as we're able to have stability in the cost of uh, 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 of food items uh, across the globe, and I want to across the uh, the state, and I want to understand is because of the the narrow exchange into dollar, and again, unfortunately, these items are not uh, items that we buy uh, in exchange of dollar. Items that we grow locally. So it's quite a learning where you see people, you know, putting prices or fixing prices that are so worrisome. And uh, I, I know uh, the cost of dollar also is a problem, but but then it, it, it hasn't got into that stage that it will make a, a mudu of price cost 2,000 naira in a state where we have farmers, we have arable land for people to grow all these food items. So people come outside the state and if you go to our markets, if you go to Lumberton Market, if you go come to Mina, or you go to Paiku or Mopwa, you see trailer loads of yam in, in, in trailers going outside the state. And by the time they buy all this food stuff, in two, three months, they will bring them back again and fix a very high price for people right. not to be able to afford this food item. So it's Operation Keep the Food of the Niger, the Intermama is Commissioner exactly. for Information. At the moment. At the moment. At the moment. Thank you yes. so much for talking to us on the news tonight.